Hey friends, I have generated this entire multi-page website from one prompt. And from there, I have imported into cursor and make quick uh, tweaks. So today I'm showing you exactly how Hope.ai and Bit.cloud are changing the game for builder like us. First, we will create a detailed prompt and give it to Hope.ai to generate the website. Then we will import all the code locally. And finally, we will make some tweaks across the website using cursor and the bit MCP. So if you want to review all the setup in details, you can watch these previous videos. First, I have created a prompt with Claude. I don't know if it's exactly necessary, but well, I have a very detailed prompt and I paste it here inside Hope and I send that. So we let it work a bit, it's thinking. And now it has finished making uh, the plan. So it described all that. And so he proposed that we can refine the vision so we can edit the prompt of any of the components. Then we can start the generation and we can refine uh, the code uh, live during the generation process. So this is what it's doing. So we can see that it's reusing the design systems that I have built in the previous videos. Uh, and here is creating a new component, the theme toggler, okay, to have light and dark theme. And then is creating a website workspace where we have much more elements. So a header, footer, homepage, about services, etc. And each one has in is own prompt and is uh, linking um, components from the design system as dependencies. So from there, we can start generating. And then we can grab a coffee, wait a bit and hope is working for us. And now it has finished generating all the components and we have our entire applica application here on the app um, tab. And we can see that it has done very good work. The design system is not perfect and we can tweak certain things. For example, this font should be white. If we go to the about page here, we can see that this font should be uh, smaller, but we have a multi-page uh, functional website. And in the component tabs, we have access to all our components. So for example, if we click on this one portfolio, we have all the documentation, the preview, the usage, the API. So here is the overview. Here we go to preview. We can see all the variations on the portfolio. Here we see the graph, how it's linked to the other components and the API reference. So everything is documented. Uh, so it makes things much more easier to use or to tweak. So now we are going to snap and snap it's comparable to a git commit. So we snap, now it's done and we are on the lane. The lane, it's like a GitHub branch. And now I see the graph of all the components that has been generated and all is, um, is good. You can see the blue ones are the ones from the design system that was pre-existing and we have reused them and the green ones are the ones that we have created now. So now I want to import the code locally to tweak it in cursor. And for that, I click here on import and I copy this bit lane import webstantly agency. Well, I copy it. Now we are inside cursor and I have created a project and now I want to import the code from my lane in order to tweak it. For that, I first need to create a bit uh, project. So I type bit in it. And again, you can see that in my previous video. And here in workspace.json.c, <clears throat> I have to change the scope 
which is Webstantly. And now I can import my lane. So bit lane import Webstantly agency design. So here the scope is agency design. Okay, oh. and I hit enter and is importing everything. Now it's done and now I want to install the bit MCP. So for that I type bit MCP server. Uh, I don't remember exactly, so I type help and okay, and I see MCP server setup and MCP server rules and the name of the editor. Okay, so setup cursor and here I need to enable it. Okay, and then the MCP is here. And then I need to install the rules. So okay, and now we have the rules here. So we are ready to go. And now I want to run my app. For that, I see that I have to run Webstantly website. So I type bit run Webstantly website. Okay, and now I can see it here. Okay, and our website is here, but we want to tweak things. For example, the fonts that are too big and if we inspect it we can see that is a h3 tag and same thing here it's too big and it's also an h3 so we are going to change that so we go back to the editor and i have the mcp so i'm going to ask it how can I overwrite all the H3 tags across the whole website? Okay, and I add the rule add context. Please use your bit MCP to access the documentation. Okay, let's see if, okay, calling bit workspace info. So we run the tool. Here it said, if I want to override the H3 font size globally, I need to use an override on the main Webstantly theme provider. Okay, so here is show me how to do it. And here, this is the Webstantly website. So, here it has created a function with um, the wrapper Webstantly theme and here we apply the adding H3 to 30 pixels and now we can see that our titles H3 are much better now. And I've also changed the color of the title on the home page here in home page and home page module CSS. So as you can see, I put white here. And now if I go to my home page, it's much better like that. So if we look at our code base, we can see that everything is organized in a very good way. So we have the code here uh, with all the components imported from the um, design system. We have our styles our test, uh, the types, 
the composition uh, so everything it's uh, very well done and ready to be given to a team of developer to be ready for production and now I'm, I'm going to type bit snap m improve styling so you can see this is exactly that like a git commit and now I want this to be available on the cloud so I type bit export and now on bit cloud I can see that these three components are black so they are they are rebuilding and this is exactly the one that I have uh, changed in this video, we started with a full design system generated by OpenAI, imported it locally with Bit and make quick visual updates right in our editor. We didn't fix every little TypeScript or test error because the goal was to show you how easy it is to take control of your UI even when starting from AI generated code. We went through lane, snapping, exporting and working locally. If you want to learn how to build full stack AI application with tools like Hope and more, that's exactly what I teach inside my AI Alchemist community. We build full stack AI applications together and I've got a special 50% coupon for BitCloud credits. If you're building something and want clarity on your tech stack or strategy, you can also book a free strategy call. And of course, don't forget to please the YouTube algorithm. So please subscribe, hit the bell and leave a comment if this helped you out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.